So label them 5, 4. We're skipping section 5, 3. We're going right to section 5, 4. And you can label section 5, 4 as exponentials. <coughs> And natural laws. <laughs> but the very beginning of this is just going to be review. So um, I need to just refresh your memory on what what inverses mean. So if you have a function. For instance, f of x is equal to x squared. The inverse function of f of x is that you take the square root of x. So the inverse function is kind of like the opposite of the original function. So what is the opposite of squaring something? The opposite of squaring something is to take the square root. So if you have f of x is equal to 2x minus 3, well, the opposite of that, or the inverse of that, would be that if you took that x value, you added 3 to it, and then divided by 3, or should be divided by 2. If f of x if f of x is equal to x divided by 3, the inverse function would be, what is the opposite of to divide x by 3? Multiply. To multiply. So the inverse function here would be equal to, would be equal to 3x. So if you recall from last year, when you find the inverse function, for example, let me go back to, I'll go back to the second example, this one right here. What you guys did was this. You said, okay, well, if f of x is equal to, was it 2x minus 3? 2x minus 3, this is what you did. You said y equals 2x minus 3, and then you switched around the x and the y. You said x is equal to 2y minus 3, and then you had to solve for y. So you added 3 to each side. So x plus 3 is equal to 2y, and then you had to divide both sides by 2. So the inverse function which is your new y, is taking x, adding 3 to it, and then dividing it by, by 2. I'm not, we don't, you don't have to go through that whole process this year. We are going to concentrate only on finding inverses of the ln function and the e function. So if I go back to this page, if I have give you one more function, say this, if f of x is equal to the natural log of x, the inverse function is the e function, is e to the x power. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you have a natural log, to undo the natural log, you have to take the e of it. If you have an e function, to undo an e, you do the, the ln of it. And I don't know if you guys, um, well, I have to say that. So, for example, let's say that you have this equation, 2x squared is equal to 16, and your job is to solve for x. What would you do first? This is a very basic algebraic problem. What do you do first to solve for x? You divide by 2. You divide by 2. All right, so you divide both sides by 2, and then what is your next step? Mm -hmm. This is back when math was fun, right, you guys? Yeah. Yeah. x squared is equal to 8, so what did you do now? Square root. You had to square root it. So you square root x squared. When you square root x squared, that got you your x. And, you'll, and then you could take, you could find the decimal value of that, or you could just leave it as, um, you know, the square root of 8, positive, negative, square root of 8, whatever. That's not the point of this. The, conver the point of this conversation is to show you that in order to solve for x here, you had to take the square root of it. That was the operation that you had to use in order to solve for x. So now use that same process to solve this. 7 is equal to e to the x plus 1 power. 
Now notice, a minute ago when we were doing this problem, when I divided by 2 on the left-hand side, I had to divide the right-hand side by 2 also. So you're going to do the same thing here. Whatever you do to one side of an equal sign, you have to do the same thing to the other side of the equal sign too. So how am I going to get rid of this? The goal here is to solve for x. If you're going to solve for x, in fact, maybe I should write that down. The goal here is to solve for x. The x is in a power right now, and it's, in its, it's a power of an e. How do I get rid of the e? You take the natural log of it. So, But if I take the natural log of the e side, I need to take the natural log of the 7, seven also. So I'm going to take the ln of 7, and I'm also going to take the natural log of e to the power of x plus 1. But when you take the natural log of e, that's like undoing each other, and they're kind of like canceling each other right out. So the ln of 7 is equal to x plus 1. Well, there just happens to be a natural log button on your calculator. So if you type in the ln of 7, you're going to get a terrible decimal number. And then whatever you get for that, you have to subtract 1. That will get you. Because when you take the natural log of 7, that gets you x plus 1. You don't want x plus 1. You want x. You just want x. So you need to subtract 1 from it. So after you get your answer, subtract 1 from it. There's x. So x is equal to, now according to what I got, you should have 0.95. Yeah. Yep. x is equal to 0.95. Let's do this one. What about this? Um, you have a natural log of 2x minus 3 equals 5. Well, the issue is that the x is kind of locked inside of this natural log, so we need to get rid of the natural log. How do you undo a natural log? You, you, you e it. So we have e to the ln of 2x minus 3. So you put e to this whole power, and that is equal to what? e to the fifth. Remember, if you take e on the left, you need to take e on the right. So we have an e to the fifth power up here. Now this e and this ln, what do they do to each other? They cancel out. So you are left with 2x minus 3 is equal to e to the fifth power. So calculate whatever e to the fifth power is. Um, okay, the e, I'm sorry, the e is second, second ln. Yeah. Second ln. So whatever you, whatever you get for e to the fifth power, well, how would you, what do you do first when you're solving a linear equation like this? Plus three. You're going to add 3 to it, and then you're going to divide by 2. And that will get you the value of x. So you put e to the fifth power, add 3 to it, and then divide by 2. Yeah. What are you guys getting at? 75. 75.6. Why is your almond? It's in here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.